Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be checking out the Roadmaster Brakemaster Supplemental Braking System. Simply put, what a supplemental braking system is going to do is apply the brakes in your towed vehicle whenever you're flat towing your car uh, down the road behind your motorhome. And um, not only is that pretty much required by law in, in the majority of the states, uh, more importantly it's a huge uh, safety thing you know, by um, not having to rely on your motorhome to do all the braking and having some help, you know, from the vehicle slowing itself down. That's really going to go a long way, especially, you know, when you're up in the, you know, hilly areas of the country um, and, and traffic and, and just in general, you know, it's going to give you a lot better towing experience, uh, make your braking more, much more predictable and slow you down faster. Uh, but with that said, you know, when it comes to picking out a supplemental braking system, there's a lot of different choices and kind of a lot going on. And uh, you know, maybe you're in that research mode and trying to figure out what's gonna work best. And in my opinion, some uh, systems shine a little bit more than others in certain scenarios. So why don't we just kind of touch base on that uh, first thing and uh, let you know if this is something that's even gonna work for you, one, or be the right choice for your particular application. This particular uh, setup is going to work with motor homes that have air brakes uh, as well as air over hydraulic brakes which you don't really see those too often but really speaking if your motor home has those air brakes you know this is uh this is going to be a fit for you and um there's also other variations of this kit that'll work with certain different types of vehicles and, and stuff as well uh, but we'll kind of touch base on that in a minute well, there's just some minor changes there um, and you know, so if, you're, if your motor home is maybe a smaller motor home, has a regular hydraulic brakes like your passenger vehicle does, um, there's, this isn't going to be a good option for you. It's not going to work the way you'd want it to. Uh, but the good news is there's a lot of different, you know, kits out there that, that will work. I'm a fan of the Stay and Play uh, Duo. It's made by Demco. It's a really good uh, kit that we've had a lot of luck with. Um, and then you have, so that one I just mentioned is a permanent type kit, stays with the car. This one's kind of a hybrid almost. A lot of the components will permanently be on the vehicle and this piece you can remove and take out. So it's kind of a mix between a permanent and a hybrid. And this uh, cylinder is one thing I'm actually a big fan of, uh, which again, we'll kind of elaborate uh, here in a moment. But if you're someone that's looking for a portable type system, let's say if you uh, change your tow vehicle a lot, you know, or you have a couple of cars that you like to tow, or uh, you know things like that, a portable one might be a better option for you. That way you don't have to keep buying braking systems and setting them up. So if that's your case, uh, my recommendation would be the Blue Ox Patriot. Uh, I had a lot of good luck with those. One of the things that is really important to a lot of people is ease of use, you know, and, and setting this up whenever you are ready to flat tow. Um, and that's definitely understandable because, you know, sometimes people can get overwhelmed, especially people kind of just getting started off with this. Um, you know, there's, there's a few things that you're going to have to do and, and you want to be confident when you're going down the road. So simple is better uh, when it comes to something like this, at least in my opinion. And I kind of mentioned this cylinder. This is just going to clamp to the brake pedal arm. And this is going to hold true with, with every vehicle. And I mean, I'm even in a, sitting in a funny spot here doing this one-handed essentially. That'll just lock up. About the little pin through so it don't come undone. And then you're going to have this end, which will get connected to uh, a keeper here. And I want to mention, regardless of what your application is, you are going to have to get a bracket like this. That way this can, can kind of pin to it. Um, in most cases, there's going to be custom fit brackets available that make it super easy, like on our Buick today. Um, and, and most popular cars are going to have this. If not, there's other ways of doing it as well. There's some universal brackets you can use and, and everything. But I'll just line that up like I said, I'm kind of at a funny angle here trying to do this so you guys can see, but get the idea. That'll push through. And you're just going to have an airline and that'll just plug directly into the fitting and that's all set up in here now 
And like I said, I'm a fan of this, this deal because it is super solid. Um, once this thing is in place, you know, I personally wouldn't have any concerns with it coming undone. It's going to give you an awesome brake pedal feel back here. You know, really responsive. Uh, some of the other ones kind of push it funny or there's a cable that wraps around them. Nothing wrong with them, but, you know, if you ask me which one would be more robust, I mean, the answer is pretty simple. This is a, a pretty heavy piece here, and you're not going to run into any issues as far as it coming disconnected or giving you a false brake. And then you can move to the front of your vehicle. A couple things you need to do up here, right? So you'll hook up some stuff to the front, to the back of the motorhome. Usually we like to have this all paired up and everything, but we got some bad weather today, so kind of stuck inside. Uh, so just trying to make do, but you're gonna have an airline that'll just plug into a fitting up front here. It's allowed to snap in. You'll have a little wire. This will be for an indicator light inside of your motorhome letting you know when the brakes are getting applied. This will plug into the back of your motorhome. And then your safety cable here, this will just go around your motorhome's hitch. So that's really all there is to it. You don't need to activate the braking system or, or deal with anything like that. Uh, once you're all set up here, uh, you're ready to, ready to go and uh, you know get some extra braking power. One of the things, uh, you know, that's really important as well is how you're actually going to live with the braking system. You know, especially if you plan on putting a lot of miles on the rig, you want something that is going to make your uh, experience a good one. And with this particular setup, it is a proportional type braking system. And that's what I always recommend, whether it's, you know, this kit or a different one or or whatever the case may be, I always like to suggest uh, to, to get one or use one that is proportional. And more or less what that means is the vehicle that you're towing, the braking pressure in it is going to match the braking pressure up here in the motorhome whenever you hit the brake. So uh, to give you an example, let's say if you're just kind of rolling up to a stop sign or something, and you know you're about halfway on the brake, um, your towed vehicle's going to do the same thing. On the other hand, if you're going real fast on the highway, you know, might be an accident up ahead and you have to kind of come to emergency stop, really stand on that brake pedal, your towed vehicle is going to do the same thing. So you're kind of stopping uh, as a whole unit as opposed to, you know, your towed vehicle not wanting to brake. You know, you kind of feel it, uh, uh, you know, it kind of feels like your motor home's doing more of the work. Or vice versa, you know, if the if your towed vehicle is breaking harder than the motorhome, might feel like it's dragging or kind of nose diving back there a little bit. So, overall, having a proportional system uh, is just going to make everything smoother and uh, and feel good. Um, you know, it'll feel like you really don't have a vehicle back there. You can feel you towing it, but not it's not pushing you around or, or holding you back. You know, and I can speak from experience too. You know, granted, I have a ton of miles out on these open roads and stuff, but do a lot of braking systems um, and uh, done the majority of them, actually. And just from cruising around, you can tell a difference uh, when it comes to that proportional setup. Kit is going to come with an indicator light, which is this here. And you can mount this up in your dash or wherever you like, really. And what this is going to do is illuminate red whenever the brakes in your towed vehicle are being applied. And, you know, it's, uh, it's just an indicator letting you know that the brakes are being pushed back there and, and uh, that stuff's working properly. A couple things I do want to touch base on real quick. And one of them is the breakaway system, which is this here, as well as that continuous power assist um, that I mentioned earlier. So we'll start with that one first uh, because it, that is going to determine if this exact system is going to work with your vehicle or not. Um, and a lot of vehicles are going to be different. Um, essentially what that continuous power brake assist means is usually it's a form of electronic assist. So, uh, you know, you can sit in your car and with it not running, with the engine not running, if you hit your brake pedal on normal cars, um, or what I call normal cars, um, you know, you'd usually get one or two, maybe three pushes of the brake before it kind of starts to get hard and you lose that power braking assist until, you know, you turn the engine on and then you get it back. Um, so if your vehicle does that, this is, this is going to work for you great. Um, on some of these more late model cars, and a lot of the hybrids are like this. I know like the Ford Escape is uh, a good example one. 
those are always going to have continuous brake assist, even with the engine not running. So you could have your car turned off, you can push your brake pedal down, and it'll never get hard. You know, it'll always feel like it would when you're driving um, and continuously power. So if that's your situation, there's either a separate part you can get, or if you're getting into a whole new kit, uh, they actually sell this kit with a, a different part. It's just a pressure reducer that'll allow this to work with those types of vehicles. And all it does is it just reduces the amount of braking pressure that this puts out. That way you're not, you know, slamming down your, your vehicle's brake pedal when it doesn't really need to be pushed that hard, right? With these, uh, a normal type car, since that pedal gets a little harder, takes a little more effort to push down and, and brake. With the, uh, with the other types, you know, it's a soft pedal all the time. You don't really need to apply that much pressure. So, um, regardless of your situation, you know, there is going to be a solution for you if you do end up wanting to use a kit like this. And that'll bring me to my next point, this breakaway system here. So, there's kits identical to this that come with the breakaway system, like ours, and some that don't. I find it a little silly to not get the breakaway system. So, what this is going to do is this is going to hold a little reserve amount of air in it. And in the event, if your vehicle were to come disconnected from the motorhome, right? Unlikely, but that's why they call it accidents. In that event, what would happen is this charged air in here would, uh, you know, get sent to your brake pedal and hit the brakes in this vehicle, helping to slow it down and, and get it back under control. So essentially, this is one of the things you hope that'll never have to be used, but in that event, uh, if it were to happen, you'd be really glad that you have it. But like I said, if you don't think you're gonna need it or whatever you wanna do, there's a kit, uh, same as this, that uh, eliminates this whole entire part. But other than that, you know, that's really all there is to it. It's, uh, it's a decent braking system. It's gonna get the job done, you know, and kind of a good mix between that, you know, that portable and permanent type system, kind of a hybrid almost, and uh, works with a lot of different types of vehicles. And that'll finish up our look at of the Roadmaster Brakemaster Supplemental Braking System.